Hey everyone, today in Fusion 360 I'm going to teach you how to make the sine wave or the perfectly symmetrical wave that was on the thumbnail of this video. And typically in the past, uh, how I used to try to make a wave is I would start a sketch. So we'll do a sketch on this first plane. And I would go to the fit point spline first. And I'm not going to do this very accurately, but you know, I would make three points. And then if you hit escape to get out of that tool, you can use these little bars here. You can make them, you can stretch it out. You can change the angle. And I would try to make this as perfect as you can. And there, there are ways to actually make it pretty symmetrical. Um, you could draw a line first and, and that goes through the center of the origin and then make these points perfectly centered. So this is even here and you can dimension these. You can hit D for dimension. And let's say we just dimension this at 25. You can dimension this one at 25. You can make these parallel to each other. So the curve is the same. And then I believe if you change this now, then they both change. So you can make pretty good curves here. But let's say you needed, if we if we drew a line from this point to this point, and we needed the height of this to be an exact measurement in the center. Let's say the center of this curve here, and you can see this curve is not even symmetrical. Um, the center point's like right here, but the center of the curve's right here. So you really have to kind of mess with it to get it to work right. There's a much, much easier way to do it. Um, at least so you don't have to go and do a bunch of math and I don't even, I don't even know how you do it. Draw circles and, and lines and dimension things. There's smarter people out there than me that could probably do that. So I'm going to show you a much easier way for figuring this out. So let me finish this sketch. Now I'm going to delete the sketch that we just did because we don't need that anymore. That was just in his example. So what a lot of people don't realize is that a coil, if looked at orthographically, meaning in one dimension, actually makes a perfect wave, a perfect sine wave. And so we can click on this coil tool. And here's my front plane right here, the one grayed out. And we have this bottom plane and this side plane. If I want the coil on the front plane, I'm sorry, if I want the sine wave or the wave on this front plane, then I have to put the coil on one of these planes. And so if I want this coil to be horizontal, drawn horizontally across the screen, I put it on this left plane. If I want it vertically up the screen, I put it on the bottom. So let's just make it go horizontal. So we'll click on that left plane and we're gonna draw our coil. And so let's make this 30 millimeter diameter coil and let's stretch it out to maybe, let's go 80. So if we look at it from the front view here, I'm gonna click on this. Well, actually, you know what? Let me, let me show you for people who haven't messed with the coil uh, window over here. When you first open this up, especially if you haven't used it in a while, this will most likely be on circle for the section, for what type of section it is, um, and that'll be on center. And on center just means, so if I go back to, if I go on this right side, here's that original 30 millimeter circle we drew, and you can see that is right in the center. That's all that means. You can turn this to outside, and now the circle's on the outside of that. Let's just keep it on center for now. And then section size doesn't really matter. This is just the diameter of the coil. So if this is your starting point, this is what you want to do. You actually want to make this a triangle internal. And internal just means that it's pointing to the inside. So this, this edge is on the inside. So again, if I go to the right, this edge right here is that point right there. If we went to external, the flat side would be facing, would be in the middle there. So let's go to internal. That's important. And then what we want to do, let's go back to this right side here so we can see it. And you can see we're on center, but we actually want to make this on the outside, which puts that edge, that pointy edge of that triangle perfectly on that 30 millimeter mark. And someone may have to correct me here, but uh, actually, no, I'll explain that later. So let's say, okay, we've, we've got our coil. Now, if we go to the front view, if we click on that inside edge, look what you see. You see that perfect sine wave here. And how do we extract that into a sketch? Well, it's very, very easy. You're just going to draw another sketch. 
click on that front plane. You're going to click on that edge and hit P on your keyboard for project. And this little box comes up. And if you forget that, it's under create, project include, project. And it wants me to know, it wants, it's asking me which geometry we want to project. Well, we want to project this edge and we can hit OK. And now let's hide that coil so I can hide that coil. And there is our perfect sine wave. So let's finish sketch. Now, let's say you don't like the look of this. Let's say, oh, this is what I was going to say before. And again, I should have looked this up before doing the video. I don't know what the hertz is. Is hertz how many waves per second or per length? And then is the frequency the distance between the top and the bottom? I think that's correct, but I, I may be wrong. Let's say, let's say you wanted, uh, you know, if we drew a line down the middle here, let's say this needed to be exactly 10. Right now it's 15, right? Because we made that diameter of the circle, the diameter of the quarter of the coil, 30, which is from here to here is 30 millimeters, which means half of it would be 15. Well, let's say we wanted this to be 10. We can go back into our coil on our timeline and just make this 20, right? Because that's the diameter. And we can hit OK. And it should, as long as my computer's built, up, update this sketch. So now from the top to the bottom is a distance of 20, and from the here to the top is 10. And even cooler is, unlike using that fit spline tool, now that the top of the curve is perfectly in the center here. So if we, if we got back into our sketch and we drew a line, this is a perfectly symmetrical curve all the way through. Let's hit finish sketch. So let's do another one real quick. Um, let's do a vertical one. So I'm going to hide this sketch. We already ha have that body hidden. So let's make another coil. So let's go to coil. And this time we're going to click on the bottom here and let's just do maybe like a, we'll do a crazy one. Let's do 15. Let's make it small. Let's do 10 and we'll bring this way up and let's do like six revolutions. And now you can see it has already remembered my, other than the revolutions and the diameter and the height and all that, it has remembered my triangle and outside settings. So I'm going to hit OK. Let's go to the front view. Create a new sketch on this front plane. Hit P on the keyboard for project and project that inner line and hit OK. And now let's hide that body. And again, there's your perfect wave. And of course, there's lots you can do with this as far as uh, making bodies and stuff. We could draw a, we could draw a line through this finished sketch. I'm not really making anything here. And let's say you wanted to extrude these out and put that somewhere on your model. Looks like I didn't quite draw that line right. Not sure what's happening there. But there you go. You got your perfect wave. Anyways, I hope that helped. Um, thanks for watching.